Hey there, CPO here, and uh, this video I'm going to show you uh, the version 2 tail control arm that uh, Taro is now putting out. Uh, and basically what you see here, we have three different versions of this tail control arm. Uh, basically the plastic uh, standard version that comes uh, pretty much in all the kits that you have. There's a CNC alloy uh, upgrade uh, control arm, and then there's this new uh, alloy control arm, which is the version 2 uh, control arm. So I'll, I'll show you a little bit about the differences in the three and why uh, this new version 2 seems to be an advantage uh, over the predecessors. So all of these control arms are good, um, as good as they can be with the, uh, the design of the tail control of the helicopter for the, uh, the, the 450s. Um, this uh, stock control arm is uh, basically the one that comes with all the kits. Um, it does, however, suffer with a little bit of slop issues. Um, some of it is due to probably a little bit of flex of the plastic parts. Um, you can see, you know, I can, I can flex this uh, plastic a little bit. Um, and then if you take a ball and insert it in, uh, there's a little bit of play where the ball fits in, um, which... Uh, there you go, you can kind of see that play. Uh, it helps introduce a little bit of play into the entire tail control assembly. Um, then there's this metal CNC upgrade uh, part, which I have put, uh, put on my heli. Matter of fact, you can see where I've worn uh, a little bit of a divot there uh, from the ball. Uh, and uh, at any rate, this one has an advantage over the plastic version in that uh, with the, uh, the high-grade um, alloy construction, it doesn't flex at all. So then what you're left with is only the, uh, the slop that happens uh, from the ball within. And as you can see, let's see if I can find a little bit of an image here. There you go. There is still just a little bit of slop in there, a little bit of play. And it's necessary, right? You have a metal ball going into a metal component. Um, even as tight as tolerances uh, can be, you've got to have enough room to be able to have that freely uh, insert in there. But um, so, so there's always been this issue of a little bit of slop in there. And one of the ways people have gotten around that is by uh, doing what's called the, uh, the fuel line or fuel tube mod uh, on their tail. And basically what it is is taking a little bit of, uh, of that uh, flexible fuel tubing, putting it around the ball, and then inserting the ball uh, into, uh, into this capture. And it basically makes it really tight um, and removes all that slack. Um, so Taro must have been paying attention to that um, because they have introduced this version 2 tail control. And I'll, uh, I'll put the, the part number the, the part number for Taro RC Heli uh, on the screen. Basically, uh, this is a demo uh, that I've got here. Uh, but he has ordered a bunch of these, and we'll have them in stock uh, pretty soon. Uh, so if, if, you, uh, if you go to the website, uh, he may, may even have a pre-order link up. But what is different with this version 2 control arm, you can see, is it's a CNC alloy, but it has this plastic sleeve in it. So rather than having just the straight um, you know, metal alloy, uh, it's got this slip-in sleeve. Now the benefit to that is... Um, the tolerances can be a little bit tighter. As a matter of fact, um, there's, you know, again, there's got to be a little bit of movement there. But look at that. The ball won't even fall out uh, with it in. That's how, that's how snug that fit is. Um, it actually kind of snaps into place, um, which, uh, in my opinion, is going to reduce even more of that uh, little bit of slop that there might be there on the heli. If I take this same ball and put it um, in this other control arm you can see that I mean it it doesn't it doesn't stay uh, in place so uh, with this new version 2 and the plastic insert uh, they've actually got it to where um, there's enough uh, grab on that that'll actually you know hang on to the ball so I'm hoping that's going to equate to uh, reduced um, play so I'm going to put this on my heli and uh, we'll take a look at it. But this is the new version 2 tail control arm. Uh, I'll put the item number on the screen so that you have it there. Um, but this is going to be an upgrade 
um, over the other metal uh, control arms that, that uh, you may already have. So watch for this to hit the stores. Uh, I'm going to go put it on my helicopter.